Hi everyone, my name is Ilya and today I'd like to show you my custom built setup of radio control speed lights which is built around Yano 562 Fotix Strato 2 and Yano 602 a lot of suit here so basically in a nutshell what it can do is to control up to four flashes independently, in groups, or in sync, all together. All you have to do is to select the flash you want to adjust and proceed with adjustments with two buttons. This goes up and this goes down. So let me show you adjusting three flashes together. The adjustment is made in quarter of the stop, which is pretty precise. Four presses means one stop. After that, you mount another radio trigger on the camera and shoot. Boom. Very effective. Let's say we need flash C to be one stop up. All we have to do is switch off A and B and proceed with adjustments with C. Here we go. One stop up. Let's say A and B flashes need to be put down in sync one stop. Selecting A and B, switching off C. One stop down in a sync. Shoot. Now let's talk about the advantages of commercially available ready controlled speed light system. And now I'm talking Pocket Wizard Flex TT5s. It can control maximum three flashes and you will need to buy AC zone controller, AC3 zone controller and four or flex TT5s. They are quite expensive, not to mention. And uh, TTL flash. Right now I'm using 580, you can use um, 430 which actually works better than this flash with flex TT5s. But that's not the case here. Uh, the biggest problem is that you absolutely need Canon or Nikon camera to trigger this setup. And this is really, really not convenient. You can change ratios here from minus 3 to plus 3 stops. Very straightforward, very easy. But you really, really, really need Canon or Nikon camera to trigger this. So. triggers, you go down, very nice, no problem, as long as you only shoot with Canon or Nikon. If you take an off-brand camera, you mount this setup on, no matter how many times you press, it will not fire, you will not be able to control and not to mention the range issues. If you try to shoot 300 millimeters with TT5s, you will run into the range problems. You will get misfires, misfires, and misfires again. With Strato 2, they're solid. They never skip a shot. And to prove that my setup works and bulletproof. Just let me show you several examples. Yeah, fire, fire again. Let's shake another camera. Is it blood? No misfires. And even cannon can be used with it. Let me show you how it's done on the flash side. Let's disassemble first.
the Strato 2 receiver is not modified in any way. Zero modification. What is done here, it's a cable with 2.5 connection connector going inside here and 3.5 connector going here. Now this is what I made myself. I put this connector inside the flash, it disassembles quite easily, assembles also quite easily, and then this connection connector is soldered to these buttons, up and down. When you press a button on the radio control, it actually triggers up or down. That's why we need another trigger just to flash the whole system. That's it. Thank you.